In this video, we play one of War Thunder's most beloved premium tanks. This is the M4A5 Ram, and it's Canadian. How can we tell it's Canadian? I'm sorry! Well, there you go. Or what is basically a squished down Sherman with a 57mm cannon. Oh, and by the way, it does this, the lowest BR vehicle that has access to ESS. It's a pretty fun premium to play, but is it any good? Let's find out. Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we're playing the M4A5 Ram. This is by far the most requested vehicle that people have asked for in the past couple of months. Over a hundred unique requests for this thing, which is by far the most requested vehicle next to the second place with a mere 15. Now what interests me the most about this vehicle being the most requested is, is that I really don't think it's that good. I think it's just a really bad Sherman. Well, not really bad, that's a bit of an exaggeration, but it's the fact that it fires a solid shot shell as compared to the 75mm cannon on the Sherman, which has, albeit, much better penetration. Well, I say much better at least 20 millimeters more penetration with the caveat that it's a smaller diameter shell it travels a little bit faster uh, and it doesn't have high explosive filler now i won't spoil the content of the rest of this video with the absolute woes of solid shot but uh, you're definitely going to see some absolute nonsense happen whenever i hit very specifically russian tanks but other than the gun this thing is still very good it is probably the most trolley armor next to the t14 i think i've ever seen in a vehicle it doesn't look like much here but that is an extreme angle even if you shoot in here very difficult to go through and up on the mantle as well looks like it's only got 70 millimeters right let's check protection analysis and lots of red spots even with 120 millimeters of pin of course the side armor is also very thick which is kind of confusing for enemies that try to shoot at you at an angle and i think that's where this thing gets its reputation from even the turret there is pretty trolly but down here not much armor at all this is really the shot you want to hit this thing but saying that the crew's legs are all the way up here so if you don't take too much ammo you're pretty much safe I think this vehicle is also cheap to buy. I don't know if anyone in the comments can let me know how much it is in GE and I'll probably pin the comment just so if people are interested in taking this thing up then they can get it. Uh, but at 3.7 now, it was 3.3 before, uh, it faces some pretty hard opponents. Hetzers, uh, Jagdpanzer 4.5s, T-30 457s which kind of laugh its way through this thing's armour even at range. Uh, it can be a bit of a struggle. I think the best way to describe this guy is basically a very low tier jumbo kinda. Your armour is not really as reliable as a jumbo. By the way, I'm going to reveal the secret in order to destroy this thing. I've just upset a lot of people who spam this vehicle out. Anyway, I'm kind of excited to play this thing, so let's get into battle. Right, we actually want to go this way because there's going to be very little people down the bottom. Why is the M10s? They're not going up this way. Actually, there's so many M10s. I don't know why you wouldn't spawn one though because it's 3 3 now, right? And uses a gun all the way up to 5 7. Actually, 6 0 because the T20's got it. Such a nice tank, dude. Just slept on it. It's, I'm glad to see people playing it actually. Kind of nice having a tank at 3 3 that can slap a tiger sideways at a thousand meters. I keep forgetting this thing is absolutely diabolically bad gun depression, too. Oh, there goes Mr. Panzer 4H here. Do we see anyone in the usual spots? That's not a usual spot. I think it's a Tetrarch or something. It was a Daimler. Oh. Hey, where did you go? Let's set this tree lower down so you can't really see where my shell comes from. He died. Somebody shot this T-34 or this M10 here, sorry. Our T-34 has moved on, not been paying attention to the old minimap. Careful M10, it's not a, not an opportune moment to peek right now. Actually, if he dies here, that would be awesome. <laughs> oh, my teammate dies, so I can use his dead body as cover. What a nice guy. This dude has a lot of faith having his... Oh, his tone thing on. Ah, uh, I didn't even knock his track out because solid shot. He's behind that rock, I think. I didn't quite get a glimpse. Oh, he's peeking out a bit. He's like roughly there, right? That's not a good sound. Let's just back it off a little bit here. 
cannons. Not that scared of cannons. Although I should be. Did you just hit this guy? Yeah, he did, but he's... No longer wants to play, right? We have a gap. Maybe I'll swing back around. No luck. Oh, I, I didn't even get his engine. The, the fuel tank ate it. I hate the solid shot. Hate it. Whoa. Is that a 50 mil? No, that's an M10 and we just slapped this breach, so. Uh, hold on. 500, you say? Let's go 500 and just a tiny overhold. Let's go 500 and don't overhold. <laughs> there we go, then. That's what we like to see, right? Some, some outskilled. So how did that hit me? How did that kill me? <laughs> oh, dude. We like those. Right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna abandon ship here because yeah, it's a wee bit boring right now. Not much going on. Probably, what, two and a half kills? Yeah. These dudes are aggressive. Uh, that is a Cromwell. When you don't have APHE on those lower plate, crew are quite low down still, get good shrapnel hopefully, and that's you. Have a strange match this one, right? I've spotted an enemy. It's a Wurble Bob. That hit one of his barrels. No! Look at it, look at his Sulgi. That's the spirit, dude. There's still loads left. Unstabilizer. <laughs> Sail guys just like, honestly, just massacring these poor guys up this hill. Yeah, look at him go, dude. Look at him go. Uh oh. Oh, Cromwell. Oh, hi. What's up? Tell me that was gun or it was. Oh! The entire Third Reich is coming. Can I, I can't drop out of here. The Cromwell died, though. I'm marked on the map, which is... Not ideal at all, right? That was the same guy I shot earlier. He's a lunatic. Okay, he bounced. His horizontal's out as well, so... Let's go in for the kill. Full ammo. An archer! Look how fast he's reversing, that's funny. <laughs> I don't feel like a big man for killing an archer with a HE, but you know, it was still funny. It's game over. It's pretty weird how they never just come out of here. Anyway, GG. Oh, <laughs> flattened. Right, do we got jungle. Let's go. This map is stinking. So are you guys all looking forward to drones? It's going to be interesting, right? A lot of pros and cons. Mostly cons. <laughs> I don't know. Nah. I'm not... I'm not averse to drones if they're implemented properly, but we all know who makes this game, don't we? Remember dozer blades and uh, sparks for tracks and stuff? Remember that? I don't know, it's gonna be used, so... I'm not using that as evidence to back up the fact I think drones will be gonna hit or miss, right? It's just that... Apparently it's gonna be a kill streak for light tanks. Or a spawn point streak at least. Bro. Oh, Canada, get your fat backside up this hill. Yo, is this M4 in trouble? No, I don't think he is. He's shooting somebody down there, though. I can't really see anything up here. It's all, like, dusky and stuff. Oh, that is a Sherman. 
Well, it was, maybe. It was. There's a guy below me here. I'm willing to bet I know exactly where he is too, right? Yeah, I see you. What is it? That is the weirdest angle I think I've ever shot a Panzer IV at. There's another one flanking around this way. Not like that. Ow, oh, why? Of course there's a Puma down here, right? Is it okay? I don't like this game. Yeah, we're gonna be down here for a little while. It's not the Puma I'm scared of, it's st stupid Panzer IV flanking around. Oh, there's a Pivkov 2 over here as well, somewhere. No. Where do you think you're going? Is he going to die? He's not dead yet. There's a ZIS-12 outside of the map here. He's still not dead. Got him. Three Panzer IV, where did you go? Oh, I see him. <gasps> he just changed course. I'm not confident, I'm not confident. Hit his barrel. And it, it made his shell go null and void. I don't think the same shot. He's backing up, so I'm guessing here. It was a fairly decent guess, now he's tracked. That's a good thing with that fast reload, right? I think he just saw me. 50 mil or. It's, uh, no, it was a 75. The amount of shot sweep just bounced. It's pretty funny. And the armor on this thing is not that good, it's just that you need a sort of half decent place shot. We've held two caps for far too long, this game's gonna be over soon. Never mind. No, that's not what you want. Um, help! There's a guy on C. Oh my god, I'm stuck and I can't do anything. Okay, I can fire again. And that guy just got blown up. There's no way, dude. <laughs> I was gonna say it's pretty ridiculous if we kill someone from here. <laughs> Got an assist as well. Okay, I had the plane. Good. I can't shoot him from here though. I actually hit him with my main gun, I got an assist! I'm actually a menace. Wait, what is this guy up here? Oh, that's a Panzer IV. He died. That's a big boy. I think we've won. We got, I got a kill from here. Hey, we did it! Let's go! I'm second in the team! Okay, though, we got Phil up here against Germany and Russia, which is probably the worst combination of things we can go up against. Let's see how we do. China T-34. It's funny, there's nothing more awkward than two T-34s fighting one another or two KV-1s. One of the funniest fights you can ever watch is a KV-1E and a KV-1B fight each other. It is pretty hilarious. There's like, honestly, four tiny weak spots on each. Three even. Just solid shot versus Russian fuel tanks is just not my idea of fun. Something's on B already. What do heck? It's a T-34. Non-penetration. Look, he's still behind that house, right? 
fucking deals are scooted back there. That's a Panzer. I did hit him, but he was already damaged. I can actually shoot through that building by the looks of it. There's the fuel tank. Yep, that's what we're waiting on. I'm going to angle my butt on this guy. And that's a breach. That's a target undamaged. That's a KV-1. That's good. Got his engine. The unfortunate thing for me is that T-34 is repairing now. That guy can't. And the T-34 is also repairing on a cap. I, I, he just wounded my gunner with his machine gun. Okay, good. I'm not sure I can even pin this KB underneath there. Oh! Fuel explosion. Okay, whatever you say. Ow! Well, I got three kills and it's a full up here, so... I'm quite, I'm quite happy with that. Right, let's go hell diver time, and then we'll take out another one. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Okay, never mind. A five second bomb delay on a five hundred pound bomb is not a good idea. But we need to save our bombs for KBs. I see a truck, I think, right in the middle of my screen. No, it's a T thirty four. He's just got a white camouflage on. You're making me panic, Flutz. Should probably deal with the C cap first, so it allows our team to kind of envelop the map a bit better. And that's a I'm gonna go for this plane first, because if we don't go for this plane, he'll come for us, and that's not good. Aim, aim, buzz, aim. Okay. Good, 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 good. Our team's doing all right, actually. That guy on C is gone now, right? Yeah, all right. Things are going fine. Did he actually die, though? Oh. Where is he coming from? There. E ITP, maybe? Doesn't look like it. I need to get rid of these. For a wee bit too heavy. A smidge. I I'm covering you, dude. I'm covering you. I got you. I got you. I'll try my best. Awesome. It was an ITB. Are the rest of the night guys here? No, it's just him. If it was more than one night guy, we'd be in trouble. Very, very good players in Nike. Do a lot of squadron battles and stuff. Is this Italian? Yeah. It used to be. Now the Nike guy is in his BTR. And that... was a 15mm thing. Did this... This little Stuart can't do anything to this tank destroyer and I'm not actually sure what it is a sav no it's not we're going to die to this bomb but er... hello? oh the the swing arm I forgot oh it's a wobble here too right, let's take these two or try and take these two SPAs out Should be a couple of assists for later and we're going to take out another ram and see if we can just hold off the hordes from the caps there goes that guy awesome okay let's go yeah i forgot the hell diver has quite a delay on the bomb drop because it's got still got a swing arm regardless of the internal bomb bay it's to stop the bomb i think hitting the prop they're getting strafed and peppered there's one one guy left does anyone have an angle on this guy? It was an M42. And that's everyone. <laughs> I, I drove the whole way here and the game is already over. There's one left. 
So, T34. You can surely see me marked on the map, right? I don't think you can pin my turret. Unless it's a 57. No, you cannot. Our, our plane just crashed right in front of us. Oh, his machine gun nipple just ate that. And that's game. <laughs> Look at this shrapnel doesn't even damage his breach. Okay, we got Mozdog. We're gonna turn towards B, because that's the best cap to go to. I'm actually gonna do that, and I'm also gonna do attack the B point. In the hopes that our KV-1s go over there, instead of trying to long range stuff. Never mind. <laughs> they're, they're both going C. We got an SMK coming with us, though. That's pretty good. I'm up faster than an actual M4. So, the... It's an, it's an M4A5, right? So I'm assuming it's based on the M4 chassis. But is it a Grizzly? I actually don't know. It's absolutely hideous. It looks like someone made a Sherman tank out of uh, plasticine Play-Doh and then accidentally dropped it on the floor from a great height. Or you know uh, that Cristiano Ronaldo statue? This is the Sherman version of that. I'll probably throw a picture up of that here so you can all laugh. I'm sure it was a difficult thing to make, but it's still funny. I definitely couldn't do better, that's for sure. This game's so much easier if you memorize where things ammo is kept. Is there somebody on this cap with me? Uh oh. Are you a 50 mil boy? No, your... Your gunner's still alive. Was... Ammo. You love to see it. Somebody is behind this hill. Oh, an M10. That's gonna annoy him, bro. Oh, hey. Come on, Niji. Right, there we go. Oh, it's two Dicker Mags is here as well. It's like 800 ish, right? Let's load an RHE. Oh, he's dead. Back to solid. There's still someone there. I can most certainly hear something roaming around. This is a really weird match, actually. I'm not sure, quite sure what's happened. I think we just had that many people go B. Did I get shot at from there? Yeah, we did. What is it, though? Hands up 4G. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I see him now. Betty Moo. Is that a... Is that Dollar? I mean, if it... If it is him, it was him. What are you? Another Panzer 3. We're doing a power of sniping here now. My teammate died in front of me. He's still there. This is really strange. There's, there's something pushing that SMK. Definitely. He's dead. <laughs> I haven't, uh, I haven't taken a single shot yet. Uh, for lack of better judgment, I'm going to move up. I really want to get this guy that's annoying the SMK. Oh no, that's not good. I'm trying not to be scared of you. Oh, he's dead. You gotta give this a slight bit of angle, but not too much, right? What is this guy on the hill? And I know there's a Concept 3 sniping from somewhere as well. But this guy has been making a lot of noise over this side for a wee while. I'm okay with exposing myself as long as I actually have something to shoot at for once. Is that an F2 here? Oh, hey, 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 I see him, I see him, I see him. Are you gonna fire at me? An M10. Right. 650. 
got him. Something's getting shot over there. Airplanes. Oh. I see you. The the ultimate thing here would be like a stug. Okay, he just got blown up. I, I'd want to be spawning a stug here at this point in time. It was a little bit low. That's what you do like to see. Are you going to back up? Wrong move. He's quite well hidden now. I'm going to move up. We've made a lot of enemies. There's not very many people left too, so we can kind of consolidate them all. I think actually all of these planes are friendly. Oh, there's a 109E that's not. There he is, look. Actually, I see two of them. I'm aiming too high. Now he can't shoot back. He's not even moving. I think he may be AFK. We'll see if he puts his fire out, right? Let's let him burn. Burn them all. There he goes. I think he was AFK. Oh my goodness. Goodbye, Achilles. Still a concept three somewhere, I think. Uh oh. Try not to give him a shot on my hull. Because uh, our man is actually pretty tr trolly, like overlaps wise. Oh my goodness. I guess someone's doing their rocket task or something. Ow. Oh, and our shrapnel was terrible. Dude, if he has the same shot, he might come a driver, but. He's going for my hull now? Right, okay. <laughs> oh, hey. Mm, come on. Swing it, swing it, swing it, swing it. Ah, uh, GG. <laughs> what? The game? Okay. Okay, that was confusing. I kind of get it because this tank is pretty fun to play. But at the same time, I think the Sherman's just better because of the reliability of the cannon. You're trading out a little bit of penetration for a much larger shell and, of course, explosive mass in the inside. Uh, and this guy, definitely thicker side armor and a lot more trolley. So I guess it kind of plays like a heavy tank. In a way, just not a very good counter to give you one. It's pretty cool. I'll give you that. Now, if you enjoyed this video, please remember to hit the like button. It helps out my channel massively. Like, seriously, it's huge. Uh, and if you're not already subscribed, hit the subscribe button. I'm going to put a video out pretty much every single day this month. And of course, it's patch day soon, which means lots of content. Tomorrow's video, I'm going to try and get some of this done. I think that'll be pretty fun. Uh, 30 player vehicles using a ground vehicle at a speed of 40 kilometers an hour. Uh, I'm not going to do it in arcade because I think that's a little bit cheaty. So we're definitely going to do it in realistic. Before I shout out the supporters, I'd like to shout out the Discord channel. We're at 13,000 members now. Very active voice channels and I mean it. It's not like there's one or two people in there. Uh, there's six or seven squads right now of four players all playing together. Up on there there's also people who make guides and there's a forum on the discord server too which is pretty cool for war thunder advice etc sometimes i pop in there if i know what i'm talking about with a certain topic so hop in there every now and again i jump in uh, voice channels for games to people too so hop on the discord the link is in the description below hopefully i'll see you over there for all the supporters of the channel uh, for all the tier threes on discord case thank you very much i mean thank you everyone for the support over there uh, but especially the tier threes who get a shout out it's toast biggie gg bruff frost audible bow bofi the starry gifted greed jamie marushin please call me landon squeezel stoy and terry bad and the witch doctor and to everyone over on patreon that's sickness win matthew s eric fear jesse mills paul wendig the taco guy ftn watermelon shane mcguire and the Stormwind, brandon aka the flying pickle ethan logan excavation nation handsome tatia king the salt lord Coil Metany, please call me Landon, Ralph, Rage, Tectonic, Tanks Gone Well, TV2 is an Atomic, Vanny and Warpig, Shaft, Elysia, Mortana and Stoyan. This is totally my name, J Tormy, David, Pyrophoric, Shmoo, and the one, the only, Rosalini. And to everyone still here watching, 
Thank you very much for watching. Much love and bye-bye.